everyone, I'm Juanita and in this video I'm going to show you how to open Spider and go over the basics of Spider's interface. We will learn about Spider's four panes that you'll likely be using most often, as well as briefly explore the others that are open by default. If you don't have Spider installed and would like to follow along, you can download it at the link below this video. The easiest way to open Spider is by opening Anaconda Navigator and clicking on Spider application once it is open. In case you have an older version of Spider in Navigator, open the command line or the Anaconda prompt in the case of Windows and type the commands conda update Anaconda and conda install Spider equal 4. To launch Spider without opening Navigator, open your command line and type Spider. If you follow the installation guide, you should have everything necessary to open Spider 4. This is what Spider 4 looks like in its default configuration, though you can thoroughly customize it, which we'll get to in a later tutorial. You can see that it is divided into three sections showing three different panes, the editor, the console and the help viewer. These three along with the Variable Explorer, are the four core panes you'll work with the most in Spider. On the left we have the Code Editor, where you can open, edit and run files. Bottom right is the IPython console, which you can use both interactively and to run your code in the editor. It shows you which version of Python you are using. Above it, you'll find a Help pane, where you can get more information and documentation for any object in the editor or console by pressing Ctrl-I or Command-I in macOS. We'll see how to do this in our next video. For the two sections on the right, you can switch tabs to see the other panes that are open by default when launching Spider. In the top section, you can switch to the Variable Explorer, which shows you the name, type, size and value of the variables that you have previously defined in the editor or the console. You can also modify the value of these variables directly from this pane by double-clicking them right under the value column. The Plots pane will show you the figures you generate with Matplotlib and other libraries. And the Files pane allows you to browse the files in your computer and open them in the editor with just a click. Finally, in the bottom section, you can also access the History pane, which shows you the commands you have entered in the IPython console, including those from previous sessions. I hope you're now familiar with the basics of using the Spider interface. In the next video, we will start working with Spider's core panes. Happy spidering!